let's look at task seven. You'll see here it's worth 13 marks, so a lot to do and there's a lot of reading in the question. One wee tip for you is if you go to the very bottom of this question, the last thing you're being asked to do is to print the report with an appropriate title and the band's logo in the report header. So that is telling you that this is going to be a database report. If you look at the paragraph above, it talks about um, showing the total amount the band will contribute, the total amount to be paid by all members. That's indicating that as you go through your report wizard, you're going to have to summarise some of the information. And if you go to the paragraph above that, I know we're going from, from back to front here, but it's actually talking about how to display the information. So the report is looking for how much to be contributed by the band and how much by each member and to show by member's name and contact number. It talks about the report being sorted by higher ID and that indicates that when you do create your report, higher ID will be the first field that you want to pull across. So that the last part of the task is telling you how to produce the report and the first part of the task is telling you the query you have to do to find the members that are going to end up in the report. So if we now look at the question and it's talking about the office bearers and committee discussing the current cost of living crisis in paragraph two, it's saying that the committee felt the band was in a position to offer financial support to those who have family members in the band or are competing in the world championships. It's going to be offered to adult and youth members when the cost of hiring their instrument is more than £100 per year. So there's three things we're going to be searching for in the query. And then after that, it talks about the band contributing 40% of the cost of the hiring the, the instrument and the member will pay the remainder. Seeing something such as finding 40% of a cost, that is indicating to you that within the query, there's going to be um, a calculated field. In this case, actually, there's going to be two calculated fields. So before we start the query, I think it's worth just opening up the tables again and reminding ourselves where we're going to find the information. Opening up the hires table there, I can see, well, there's not actually much in the hire table that we need for the query. In fact, I don't think there's anything at all we need, but there's the hires table. Looking at the instruments, well, that certainly is going to give us the annual hire cost that we need, because remember, it's if their annual hire cost is, is greater than £100. So that's going to be relevant. The main query is going to come from the members table, where we do have, as well as our name um, and contact number that we need for the report. There's the category with you know senior adult youth. And remember, I think it's adult and youth that we're pulling out uh, for the query. There's also there the comments, and I can see there's family member and there's worlds. So that is another field we're going to have to use a wild card on. The own instrument, I don't think we need that one, but that's a, a yes, no field. So much of the query is going to come from the members table. So to create our query, create, then query design. We'll just bring all the tables across, although we did identify that I don't think we need the hires table, but we'll just bring it across anyway and we'll stretch it all out here just so that we can we can see everything. All right. So thinking about what we need to show in the report, if you remember from the, the third to bottom paragraph there, the report has to be sorted by higher ID. So I might as well bring that field down first. We need the member's name and contact number. So from the members table, let's just bring down title, first name, surname and contact number. And at this stage, actually, we just run it just to make sure or so, so we can see what it looks like. So that's the starting point. Now we need to go and actually deal with the query element.
So the first thing it's asking is to find people who have family members in the band or are competing in the World Championships. If you remember from the members table, we find this information in the comments field. So I'm going to bring the comments field down. I'm going to run it just to remind ourselves of what we're looking for. They've got to be a family member or playing in the, the, the World Championship. And there it's, it's just got the word the word worlds. So here we're going to do a wild card in the query. The wild card, if you remember, is where you use the asterisk. So in this example here under criteria, we do an asterisk. That means there might be text before it and we're looking for the word family actually is all, is all we need there. And we're going to um, have an asterisk at the end, which means there might be words after it. We also look for, or they have to be, um, or competing in the World Championship. So we just type in or, do the same again. The wild card, there might be text before it. There might be text before the word worlds. And we do an asterisk at the end, there might be text after it. I would suggest we run it to make sure it's worked. Let's just check. And I can see the ones we've now extracted has either got the word family member or worlds. Let's now go back to the next part of it. And it's saying it's going to be for adults. Um, well, it's actually saying adult and youth member. For the query, it's going to be adult or youth member. So the field we need for that is going to be category. And under criteria, we're going to type in adult or youth. Oops, spell it correctly. And let's have a look. So here we are narrowing it down now just to those who are in the family, uh, sorry, the adult or youth category. Back to our design and the next and final query we have to do is hiring cost where the cost of hiring the instrument is more than £100 a year. So let's now look in the instrument and it's the annual hire cost we need. And this time it's not £100 or more, it's more than £100. So greater than 100 We don't need the dollar sign, remember, just the value there. Let's run that and see if it's narrowed it down. And here we're now down to, I think, eight, um, eight people. So that's the sort of standard query has now been completed. So the next thing we need to do is a calculated field. The band is contributing 40% of the annual cost of hiring the equipment. So we've got the cost of hiring the equipment. We've brought it down into the query. We have to do a calculated query to find out what is 40% of the annual hire cost. Now to do that, we need to go back into the design and we have to scroll along here and select a blank column. First thing is we have to create the field heading. So let's just call this band contribution. I'm going to do it in capitals just because the rest of it is in capitals. All right. You have to do colon and then we have to reference the annual hire cost. We need to use the annual hire cost. I have to put that in a square bracket. So a square bracket and then type it and make sure you spell it properly exactly how you see it in the field annual hire cost. That is the field we're using. It's these values we need and we're going to multiply by 40%. So asterisk in this case is for multiplying just as you would do in a spreadsheet and we're going to type in 0 0.4. I'm going to tick that just to make sure it's just so we can see it and then we're going to run it. So let's have a look here and we can see that we have indeed calculated the band contribution. There's an issue with formatting here because the band contribution that you've just worked out needs to have a pound sign and two decimal places. Really easy to fix. Just go back into design view. Band contribution, just right click, go into properties, go into format, drop down, there's the currency, 
and we'll set it for two decimal places just to make it consistent with the other column. Let's run that and have a look and we'll see there that now we've got it formatted properly. The last part of the query is saying, you know, how much will the, the, well, the member will pay the remainder. So how much is that going to be? Now, there's two ways to do it. If we go back into view and then design, I'll just close down the property sheet and open this up here is, well, first of all, we have to create a field heading, first of all. So let's just call that member payment. All right, same as before, you need the the colon. Now, what you could do, I suppose, is, is you, could do, you, could, you could do it by annual higher cost times 60%, that's one way, or we could do annual higher cost minus band contribution. You're going to get the same answer. I'm going to do annual higher cost minus band contribution. So my field heading is called member payment. I've done my colon. I now have to use these two fields. So with the square bracket, I'm going to take the annual higher cost. This will pick up the cost from that column, close bracket, dash for the minus, square bracket again, and we're going to put in the band contribution. It will pick up the field you have just created. All right. Just make sure you spell it correctly like that. All right. So the actual um, sort of calculation there is, I'll just stretch this out so you can see, like that. It's member payment colon in square brackets, annual higher cost from the column that you see, minus band contribution, and the box is ticked. Let's run it and have a look. And you'll now see that we have everything that we need for the report.